Hey guys, Professor Paul Comic Book Universe in Action Comics number 978. What we have is Superman finishing up his round of memory retrieval and making sure that everything shucks into place. And he knows that there's something wrong, but the memory banks have been altered and his memory in and of itself has been altered. And it's interesting to see, basically, if you're not that familiar with all the different origins that Superman has had, especially with the, the New 52 version and the Flashpoint version, then this isn't going to be a, a big revelation to you, probably. But you'll get to see what his current current origin is, rebirth origin. And unfortunately, we're going to have to do this every five years. But again, I'm not bothered by this at all. They did this very well. We get to see his origin over a two-part story. Uh, last part was the beginning of it. So we should be finished with that by now. There shouldn't be too much more to go on, but the Mr. Oz does kind of make an appearance and show him how he's so much more powerful and just kind of, I don't know, establishes, hey man, here I am. And I don't think that was a brilliant move on his part, you know, revealing his cards like that, but whatever. I'm sure he has his brilliant reason. <laughs> no, I don't actually. But I am wondering if Lex Luthor is still going to be a good guy at this point. It seems like maybe he will, but I can't be entirely certain right now from based off of what I've seen. I did see the new uh, Lex of Steel <laughs> costume, so to speak, but mm, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that right now. I did also see the Kryptonian armor from the New 52, which I loved that armor, but I hated everything else about that Superman. Regardless, we get to see that it looks like Hank Henshaw, the original Cyborg Superman, is kind of reforming the band, so to speak. He's getting Blank together with all these other different... He's got, oh, the Eradicator, man. He's got the Eradicator back, and he's a bad guy again. It is what it is. That is my absolute all-time favorite Superman costume. I love the stupid... The, I, actually, I kind of like the black costume the best, but either way. So, guys, I'm going to give this comic a B. It was very good to see the origin of Superman told again. Uh, it's not like the biggest thing in the world, but whatever it is, what it is. Still, we get to see all these different bad guys reforming. We're going to see a Superman revenge squad of sorts being formed. Next issue, they're going to go and get Mongol. So I, I can't argue that like, oof, man, the biggest, baddest, meanest SOB. And I hope that they're still going to keep the original uh, this year Trinity story intact. Mongol shouldn't be that easy to get, but we'll see. We'll see what they're going to do with this. I'm sure Dan Jurgens isn't going to screw us over. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.